Marcus Tullius Cicero in Marcum Antonium, Episode 19. Adebant parteria fit enim plerumque ut ii, qui boni quid volunt afferdre, affingant aliquid, quo faciant id, quod nuntiant, laetius, rem conventuram, calendis sextilibus, senatum frequentem fore, Antonium repudiatis malis suasoribus, remissis provinciis galiis, ad auctoritatem senatus esse rediturum. Cicero continues his narrative account of how he received information of events in Rome. In addition, Praetaria, those men were supplying, or they were adding, and then we have rem through rediturum, which is all oratio obliqua, indirect statement. Between that, we have this parenthetical. Now, the parentheses, of course, were added by the editor, and I find them helpful because otherwise it might not be clear how this is functioning, at least until we are more accomplished in Latin. They were adding, moreover, for generally it happens that those men, qui boni quid volunt affere, those men who want to provide something good, boni quid, quid here is the object, it's accusative, the object of affere, and boni is the partitive genitive, who want to provide something good, they affingant aliquid, they make up something or they add something else in. By which thing, the antecedent of quo is aliquid, they make it, they cause, that that thing, which they announce, is more pleasing or more happy. Now it seems to me as a student of Cicero that this little portion here is a really fine sermo tullianus. And if you want to learn Cicero well, studying this little bit and feeling like you have a sense of mastery would be a very good thing. For it generally happens that those persons who want to provide something good, they make something else up, by which thing it happens that the thing they announce, another subordination, is litius, which is neuter and singular and accusative. The predicate of id and faciant is taking id as object. Now what is that thing that those men were adding in addition? It's rem conventuram, actually rem esse conventuram. They added that the matter would be resolved. Conventuram is a future active participle from the fourth conjugation verb convenio convenire, that the matter would be resolved. That on the calends of August, sextilibus, the senate, senatum, would meet, fora frequentem. I explained before that fora is a periphrastic for futurum and so here's another item in this long oratio obliqua, this long indirect statement. The first one was rem, the second is senatum. What else did they explain? Here's the third item. They explained Antonium, that Antony, i.e. Mark Antony, repudiatis mali suasoribus, when his wicked counselors had been rejected, or after he rejected his wicked counselors. All three of these are ablative, masculine plural ablative, and this is an ablative absolute. And when the Provinciis Galliis, the Gallic provinces, had been returned or given up or abandoned, here we have feminine, plural, and ablative, all three, another ablative absolute, that Antony, what? Rediturum. He would go back or return. And Rediturum, of course, with Esse here, is a future active infinitive. That he would return to the authority, we might take this as some translations do, as submit. He would submit to the authority of the Senate, Senatus, masculine, singular, and genitive, with auctoritatem, which is accusative as the object of ought. A brilliant sentence, really, one that ought to be studied carefully and thoroughly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.